On Fox tonight, some members of a Houston church say they want their pastor out after finding out he's made sex tapes. Isaiah Carey's seen those tapes and has reactions from some members of the congregation tonight. Salem Missionary Baptist Church on East 33rd Street has been in Houston for more than 80 years. But now this holy house has been rocked by a scandal. And they ought to be up there in front of the church talking about, God spoke to me. Did he speak to you before or after he made the videos? Pastor Hosea Stubblefield has led the flock at Salem for the last year. But some in the congregation at the 100-member church want him out. This is after a Houston woman who said she once dated the 32-year-old divorced pastor had posted some of the sex videos videos of Reverend Stubblefield with various women on her blog. Those videos have since been taken down. We've actually seen the video and verify it is Stubblefield with members of the congregation, and the video is too explicit to show on television. Craig Davis is a head deacon and trustee at the church. Stubblefield also dated his daughter, and now he wants him out of the pulpit. Disgusting, because I've trusted and believed I have been working with him for over a year before he became our pastor. I sent him uh, veteran pastor sermons, and it just was disgusting and knowing that I was betrayed. Davis says he told the pastor to leave earlier this month, but he refused. Davis says last Sunday, Stubblefield admitted to making the videos in front of the congregation, but he said it was two years ago. Your pastor or conduct, you've been in the ministry for so long, and you're going around sleeping with different women, and if they were for two years ago, that shows that he was committing adultery because he was married and he just got divorced with his wife. Lacobie and Lewis is also a member of the church. He says he will never return until the pastor has been removed. Because he didn't preach multiple times about fornication, about shacking up. And to find out you've been making sex tapes throughout your whole adult life, recently, two or three years ago, and you're a man of God at the highest point. In the church. Now, we had a chance to speak to Reverend Stubblefield on the phone, and he acknowledges making the video, saying he regrets doing it. But he also says they were made two years ago, and a woman who stole them from him was using them to blackmail him, but he apologizes. Isaiah Carey, Fox 26 News.